means today we are going to learn trigonometric ratios then trigonometric ratios in coordinates and trigonometric identities okay so first we know that there are six trigonometric ratios okay that is sin theta cos theta tan theta cot theta cosec theta and sec theta okay so if i draw right triangle like this way this is theta this is right angle so abc is a right angle and angle c is theta so we know that sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse okay cos theta is equal to adjacent side that is a bc upon hypotenuse ac tan theta is equal to opposite side that is ab divided by bc okay then cosec theta that is hypotenuse upon opposite side sec theta that is equal to hypotenuse upon adjacent side and cot theta is equal to adjacent side upon opposite side okay so you know that sin theta and cosec theta reciprocal of each other cos theta and sec theta are reciprocal of each other and tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other so we can write relation that is a sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta okay similarly vice versa cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta then cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta similarly sec theta we can write 1 by cos theta okay so here i am writing sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta sin cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta then tan theta is equal to okay let me here tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta or cot theta we can write 1 by tan theta okay similarly there are another two relations that is tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta and cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta okay so this these are the six trigonometric ratios and relation between six trigonometric ratios are this okay now we will learn trigonometric ratios in coordinates okay this point is trigonometric ratios in terms of coordinates okay so if we draw this x axis and y axis okay this is origin and i am taking angle like this way this point is b having coordinates x comma y okay now if b having coordinates x comma y means ab distance is y and oa distance is x okay now we have to find if suppose this is theta so sin theta is equal to y divided by ob now this ob i am considering as a r so this ob is equal to r is equal to square root of x square plus y square and this distance is positive okay so here sin theta is equal to y divided by r and cos theta is equal to x divided by r okay so sin theta is equal to y by r cos theta is equal to x by r then cosec theta is equal to r by y sec theta is equal to r by x tan theta is equal to y by x and cot theta is equal to x by y so these are the trigonometric ratios in coordinates okay now if we consider 
if we take this circle okay i am taking circle that is a unit circle so unit circle means value of r is 1 so here i am taking unit circle so r is equal to 1 okay so if r is 1 unit circle means radius is 1 unit okay so here r is equal to 1 so if radius is 1 sin theta is equal to y cos theta is equal to x okay so keep this in mind every time x coordinate is a cos theta and y coordinate is a sin theta okay so when we are representing in coordinate plane okay x coordinate every time it is a cos theta and y coordinate that is a sin theta okay now we are considering this and we have to find the values of sin and cos for angle 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree and 360 degree okay so you can see here now i am giving this y coordinate is sin theta x coordinate is cos theta okay so see here if i am taking this r is 1 unit means here i am taking unit circle so r is 1 okay so if theta is 0 degree if theta is 0 this r is here okay so this point is 1 comma 0 okay this lies on x axis so coordinates of this point because this distance is one unit this is center okay this is radius so this distance is one means coordinates of this point is 1 comma 0 coordinate of this point is 0 comma 1 this is minus 1 comma 0 and this is 0 comma minus 1 okay now x coordinate is cos theta y coordinate is sin theta so from this we can get cos 0 okay so cos 0 degree if theta is 0 degree cos 0 that is the x coordinate so we will get value of cos 0 is 1 then sin 0 that is a sin 0 means here y coordinate so y coordinate is 0 so sin 0 is 0 then cos 90 that is the x coordinate so cos 90 is 0 sin 90 that is a y coordinate it is a 1 then cos 180 degree okay so cos 180 degree that is a minus 1 sin 180 degree that is 0 okay again cos 270 degree that is a zero and sin 270 degree that is a minus one okay so by using this again cos 360 sin 360 again we will get same value so that is a one zero okay so you can observe from this you can find value of cos zero means for angle zero degree 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree 360 and so on okay so cos 0 that is a 1 okay so here i am considering unit circle having radius is 1 so first i am finding coordinates of these points okay because radius is 1 means this distance is 1 so coordinates of this point is 1 0 coordinate of this point is 0 1 this is minus 1 0 okay because this is negative side of x axis and here it is 0 minus 1 so we know that now x coordinate is cos theta y coordinate is sin theta okay so when theta is 0 x coordinate is 1 y coordinate is 0 so cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 0 sorry cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 cos 180 is minus 1 sin 180 is 0 cos 270 is 0 sin 270 is minus 1 okay Understand this one. Now we have learned that cos zero is one, sin zero is zero. Cos ninety is zero, sin ninety is one. Cos one eighty is minus one, sin one eighty is zero.
cos 270 degree zero, sin 270 degrees minus one. Then cos 360 degrees one, sin 360 degrees zero. Okay. So after one complete rotation, that value is repeated. Okay. So here, if we convert in radian, this is in degree. So in radian, cos zero is one, sin zero is zero. Then cos ninety, if we have to convert in radian, so we know that if we multiply by, if we have to convert uh, degree into radian, so we have to multiply by. Pi by 180, so 19 into pi by 180 that is pi by 2. So cos pi by 2 is 0, sin pi by 2 is 1. Similarly, cos 180 degree, so that is cos pi is equal to minus 1, sin pi is equal to 0. Then cos 270 degree. If we convert 270 degree. Into radian, so pi by 180, so that is a nine three is a nine two is a then three pi by two, so cos three pi by two is equal to zero sine three pi by two is equal to minus one, then cos three sixty, that is a cos two pi is equal to one. And sine two pi is equal to zero. Okay, so from this you can observe that sine value is zero for zero pi two pi. Okay, so we can write by using this sine x is equal to zero for x is equal to plus minus. You can write pi. Okay, or first right. Okay, I'm writing here. Sine x is zero. For x is equal to zero plus minus pi plus minus two pi plus minus three pi and so on. Okay, or we can write x is equal to n pi. Well, n is integer. Okay. So x is equal to n pi. For x is equal to n pi, sine x is equal to zero. And cos x is zero for pi by two, three pi by two. Okay. So here we can observe that these are odd multiples. So cos x is equal to zero for x is equal to pi by two. Then three pi by two. Okay, if you increase this, that is a five pi by two, and so on. Okay, so we can write x is equal to plus minus, or we can write directly odd. No? So two n plus one pi by two. Okay, where n is integer. So for X is equal to two n plus one by by two. Cos x is zero and sine x is zero for x is equal to n by. Okay, understand this. This is important. Okay, then we will take fundamental trigonometric identities that already we know that. Okay, if it is not visible, see this one. Sine x is equal to zero. For x is equal to zero, pi, two pi, three pi. Okay, so x is equal to n pi, where n is integer, and cos x is equal to zero for odd multiples of pi by two. Okay, so x is equal to pi by two or three pi by two, five pi by two. Cos value is zero, so we can write. Cos x is equal to zero for x is equal to two n plus one pi by two. Okay. In standard already we have learned that trigonometric identities. Okay. So first trigonometric identities identities sine square theta plus cos square theta 
is equal to 1. Now I am not going to prove this one. You know that how to prove this identities. Okay. So sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay. So what is uh, okay, one thing is there? What is mean by equation and what is mean by identity? Okay. If any equation is satisfied for all the values of x okay or all the values of variable then that equation we call it as an identity okay so here sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 this is identity because this is satisfying by all values of theta okay either it is positive or negative but it is satisfying by all values of theta so this equation we call it as an identity okay so first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 second one is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and third one is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta okay so these are three fundamental identities or basic identities okay now we are going to take next point that is which quadratic function is positive and negative in which quadrant means if suppose theta it is in first quadrant okay or angle is in first quadrant means it is less than 90 degree then which trigonometric ratios are positive and which are negative okay or it is in second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant okay so if theta is in that four quadrants any of any one of the four quadrant then what are the trigonometric ratios either it is positive or negative so we will see that point okay so next point is trigonometric ratios in four quadrants okay now in previous point we have learned that x coordinate that is a cos theta and y coordinate that is equal to sin theta okay so keep this in mind x coordinate is cos theta y coordinate is sin theta okay so in first quadrant this is first quadrant in first quadrant x coordinate and y coordinate both are positive okay we know that x coordinate and y coordinate both are positive in first quadrant so therefore sin theta is positive okay cos theta is positive so if sin theta and cos theta is positive all trigonometric ratios are positive so all positive in first quadrant okay so if theta lies in first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive okay because we know that x coordinate is cos theta y coordinate is sin theta and x and y are positive in first quadrant therefore all trigonometric ratios are positive in first quadrant okay if theta lies in second quadrant okay so here we know that x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive okay so here cos theta is negative okay x coordinate is that is equal to cos theta so cos theta is negative so if cos theta is negative all trigonometric ratios related to cos theta means sec theta tan theta and cot theta that are negative y coordinate is positive therefore sin theta is positive okay so here sin theta is positive and reciprocal of sin theta that is a cosec theta so these two only positive other all are negative okay because x coordinate is negative means cos theta is negative so cos theta is negative means sec theta also negative then tan theta we can write sin theta by cos theta but cos theta is negative sin theta is positive but cos theta is negative so sin by cos is negative that is tan negative 
सो इफ टाइम निगेटिव कॉट ऑल्सो निगेटिव सो ओनली साइन थीटा एंड कोसेक थीटा दैट टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज आर पॉजिटिव इन सेकेंड क्वार्टर ओके एंड अदर ऑल आर निगेटिव ओके सो इन फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑल पॉजिटिव इन सेकेंड क्वार्टर साइन थीटा एंड कोसेक थीटा ओनली पॉजिटिव अदर ऑल आर निगेटिव इन थर्ड क्वार्टर बोथ आर निगेटिव इन थर्ड क्वार्टर एक्स क्वार्टर ऑल्सो एंड वाई क्वार्टर बोथ आर निगेटिव ओके सो कॉस थीटा इज निगेटिव साइन थीटा इज निगेटिव ओके सो इफ कॉस थीटा एंड साइन थीटा निगेटिव मीन्स कोसेक एंड सेक ऑल्सो निगेटिव ओनली टैन एंड कॉट आर पॉजिटिव बिकॉज कॉस थीटा बाय साइन थीटा दैट इज कॉट थीटा एंड साइन थीटा बाय कॉस थीटा दैट इज अ टैन थीटा सो इफ बोथ आर निगेटिव इट बिकम्स पॉजिटिव सो ओनली टैन थीटा एंड कॉट थीटा दे आर पॉजिटिव ओके अदर ऑल ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज आर और वी कैन से दैट इट इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन सो अदर ऑल ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन आर निगेटिव only tan theta and cot theta positive okay so in first quadrant all positive in second quadrant sin theta and cos theta are positive in third quadrant tan theta and cot theta are positive and in fourth quadrant so in fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative so cos theta is positive If cos theta is positive, sec theta also positive. Sin theta is negative. Y coordinate is sin theta, so sin theta is negative. So if sin theta is negative, then cos theta is negative. Tan theta is negative, okay? Because tan theta means sin by cos, cos positive but sin negative. So tan theta is negative, cot theta is also negative. So only sec theta. and cos theta are positive okay so see here in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive in second quadrant sin theta and cos theta only positive other all are negative in third quadrant tan theta and cot theta are positive and in fourth quadrant sec theta and cos theta are positive other all trigonometric functions are negative okay now we will see that examples based on this okay so see once again first quadrant all positive second quadrant sin cosec positive third quadrant tan cot first example is if cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 theta lies in the third quadrant then find other five trigonometric functions okay so in third quadrant tan and cot are positive other all are negative okay so you can remember you can keep in mind this thing like this way also so add sugar to coffee okay so you can make the sentence add sugar to coffee okay means here Add means here if we take one first letter of each word. So A means all are positive. Here sugar S is sine and cosec reciprocal also positive. So sine and cosec positive. T that is a tan and cot are positive. Here C means cos and sec are positive. Okay. So here theta is in third quadrant means tan and cot are positive. Other all are negative so now we can start this cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 given so sin theta we can find so sin square we can use this identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta and sin theta is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos square theta now here sin theta is negative so i am taking negative value so sin theta is equal to minus square root of 1 minus cos square theta so minus 
square root of 1 minus cos square theta. So cos theta is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 square. So 1 minus minus 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4. So that is a square root of 3 by 4. So if you find square root minus root 3 by 2. So sin theta is minus root 3 by 2. Okay. Then cosec theta that is a reciprocal of sin theta. So that is minus 2 by root 3. Okay. Then co, uh, sec theta we can write directly. Sec theta that is a reciprocal of cos theta. So it is minus 2. Then tan theta it is equal to sin theta by cos theta. Now sin theta is minus root 3 by 2 and cos theta is minus 1 by 2. So this 2 will get cancelled. So tan theta is equal to root 3. Cot theta is equal to reciprocal of tan that is equal to 1 by root 3. Okay. So now we have all this. So sec theta minus 2 by root 3. Sec theta minus 2. Tan theta that is equal to root 3. Cot theta 1 by root 3. And sin theta is equal to minus root 3 by 2. Okay. So this type of example you have to solve like this way. Okay. First see that theta lies in which quadrant. Here theta lies in third quadrant means only tan and cot are positive. Other all trigonometry functions are negative. So here I am taking value of sin is minus of square root of 1 minus cos square theta. And then we will get value of sin is minus root 3 by 2. And then find other values. Okay. Understand this one. Positive and fourth quadrant sec and cos positive. Okay. Now we will see examples. In 10th standard, already we learned that trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. Okay, so we will revise it. Okay, in 10th standard, we already proved that how we get values of sine 0 degree, 30 degree, 45, 68, 90. Okay, and for other trigonometric ratios also. So here I am only revising that values. Okay. So here one trick is there to write that values. So first write this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then divided by 4. Okay. Then simplify it. So this is 0. This is 1 by 4. This is 1 by 2. Then 3 by 4 and this is 1. And take square root of 8. So square root of 0 is 0. This is 1 by 2. This is 1 by root 2, square root of this is root 3 by 2, and then this is 1. Okay, so we will get values of sine theta, then right in reverse order, we will get values of cos theta. So 1 root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, then 0. Okay, then sine divided by cos, we will get value of tan. So 0 by 1 is 0, 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 that is a 1 by root 3 this is 1 this is root 3 and 1 by 0 is not defined ok next cot theta we can write reverse order of this tan theta so not defined first then root 3 then 1 then 1 by root 3 and then 0 ok Cosec theta that is a reciprocal of sine theta. So 0 by 1, 1 by 0 that is a not defined. Then 1 by 2, reciprocal of that 2. Then 1 by root 2, it is a root 2. Root 3 by 2, 2 by root 3. And 1 by 1 that is a 1. Sec theta, reciprocal of this 1. Root 3 by 2, 2 by root 3. This is root 2. Then 2 and then not different 0 by 1. If we take reciprocal, uh, reciprocal that is 1 by 0, so not different. Okay, so you can keep in mind this trick to find the values of angles 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. Okay, now we will learn for another angles means which is greater than 90 degree. Okay. Uh, so suppose like 120 degree, 160 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree.
okay so now we will try to find the values of that angles for this trigonometric ratios okay next point is values of trigonometric functions at minus theta okay so suppose here this is a unit circle means here radius is 1 and if i am considering point p having coordinates x comma y okay making an angle theta with the x axis okay so triangle omp that is a right angle triangle okay so here we know that x coordinate that is a cos theta and y coordinate that is a sin theta okay so if x is equal to cos theta y is equal to sin theta then q is the image of point p so q having coordinates now this distance is same so that is x comma minus y why it is minus y because q lies in fourth quadrant okay and in fourth quadrant y is negative okay so this is the image of or this two triangles we can show that similar so q having coordinates x comma minus y okay so here we can write x is equal to cos of minus theta because this theta is a minus theta we have to rotate in clockwise direction so x is equal to cos of minus theta and y is equal to sin of minus theta okay but we know that value of x by using this this is equal to cos theta so cos of minus theta that is equal to cos theta and value of y is equal to sin theta so sin of so here it is a minus one so minus one that is minus sin theta so minus sin theta is equal to minus and value of y is sin theta so minus sin theta is equal to sin of minus theta okay so from this we we got that cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta and sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta okay means suppose here instead of theta any angle is there suppose 30 degree is there so if that angle is in means if we rotate in clockwise direction and if that angle is negative so cos of minus 30 degree that value is equal to cos 30 degree so cos of minus 30 it is equal to cos 30 degree but if sin is there so sin of minus 30 degree that is equal to minus sin 30 okay so for by using this we can find the values of other trigonometric ratios okay so cos minus theta that is cos theta sin minus theta is equal to minus sin theta so for tan of minus theta that is sin of minus theta upon cos of minus theta so sin minus theta minus sin theta cos minus theta is cos theta so minus of sin theta upon cos theta that is minus tan theta so tan of minus theta that is equal to tan theta similarly for cot cot of minus theta we can write cos of minus theta upon sin of minus theta that is cos theta upon minus sin theta so it is minus cot theta so cot of minus theta that is equal to minus cot theta okay then cosec of minus theta that is 1 upon sin of minus theta and sin of minus theta that is minus sin theta so minus 1 upon sin theta so minus cosec theta so cosec of minus theta that is a cosec minus theta is equal to minus cosec theta and sec minus theta that is a 1 upon cos minus theta so 1 upon cos minus theta that is 1 upon cos theta that is equal to sec theta so sec of minus theta is sec theta so cos minus theta cos theta sin minus theta minus sin theta tan of minus theta is minus tan theta cot of minus theta minus cot theta cosec minus theta minus cosec theta sec minus theta is sec theta okay so we have to use this for 
finding the values of uh, trigonometric ratios for different angles. Okay. The first question is find the values of trigonometric functions following trigonometric functions. So first question is sin 765 degree. Okay. So first check that where it lie. That angle is lie in which quadrant means 765 degree. So if we start from this, if you go anti-clockwise because here angle is positive. So if you go anti-clockwise, first rotation that is 360 degree. Again if we rotate then it is 720 degree and here 765 so that is a 45 degree so this angle is 45 degree okay so total angle is 765 degree okay so we can write sine means this angle lies in first quadrant okay terminal side of this angle is lies in first quadrant okay see once again first decide that this angle lies in which quadrant okay one complete rotation that is a 360 degree okay so we have to rotate it two times that is 720 degree and then 720 plus 45 we will get 765 okay now this angle we can write in multiples of 90 this angle we have to write in multiples of 90 that is a 19 into 8 so 9 8 is 720 so 720 plus 45 degree ok now when we are writing in multiple of 90 if this number is even then this function keep as it is then sign keep as it is that is a sign if this number is odd then sine function change as a cos ok so sine change as cos cos change as a sine tan as a cot cot as a tan and sec and cosec ok so if this number is odd we have to change the function sine as a cos, cos sec as a cosec tan as a cot ok but here this number is even so we have to keep as it is and then write this angle that is a sine 45 degree ok check this also in first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive this angle lies in first quadrant so here sine is positive so we will get angle or answer is positive so value of this angle is a positive so sine 45 degree we know that it is a 1 by root 2 ok so sin 765 degree that is equal to 1 by root 2 ok so understand this how we have to find first find this 765 degree angle where it lies ok so this angle lies in first quadrant ok now then we have to write that angle in multiples of 90 that is 90 into 8 plus 45 ok so here this number is even so this sign keep as it is sign if this number is odd we can change sign as a cos ok but check the function which value we have to find sin 765 degree so in first quadrant which functions are positive which functions are negative so first check that here in first quadrant all are positive so therefore sine also positive so sine this uh, value we will get positive value ok so sine then we have to write 45 degree ok so sine 45 degree is 1 by root ok so we get value of sine 765 degree is 1 by root ok now we will take more examples ok second example is cosec of minus 1410 degree ok so first we have to write in positive value so cosec of minus theta that is a minus cosec theta so minus cosec 1 
माइनस कोसेक वन फोर वन जी ओके बाय यूजिंग दिस कोसेक ऑफ माइनस थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस कोसेक थीटा ओके नाउ कोसेक ऑफ वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एन सो फर्स्ट डिसाइड वेर इट लाइन वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड टेन डिग्री वेर इट लाइन सो हाउ वी फाइंड दिस वी हैव टू डिवाइड इट बाय थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके मींस वन कंप्लीट रोटेशन दैट इज अम थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी डिग्री देन सेवेन ट्वेंटी डिग्री देन वन थाउजेंड एटी डिग्री सो थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू Three, if you have to find that is a one thousand eighty degree. So this is one thousand four hundred and ten. Okay. So one thousand eighty means this is one thousand eighty. Then this is one thousand four hundred and ten. So if we subtract that one thousand four hundred and ten minus one zero eight zero, so we will get. Three hundred degree means it will lie here in fourth quadrant, okay? Because if we subtract this one thousand four hundred and ten minus one thousand eighty, we will get three hundred degree. So after completing three rotation, again it will lie here. So this is position of this angle one thousand four hundred and ten degree, okay? Now we know that it is lies in fourth quadrant, and in fourth quadrant, secant cos that angles are positive, others are negative. So we have to find cosec. So this value we will get negative. So already this minus sign is there. Again, cosec is negative. So this is minus, and now we have to check that cosec. Into this we can write in multiples of 90. So 90 into 15 plus okay that is a 90 into 15 is I think 1350. So how much remain it is a 60 remain. Okay. So this is plus. Now here it is a even. Sorry, odd multiple. So cosec become sec. Okay. So cosec become sec. So sec of 60 degree. So sec 60 degree. That is the one upon cos 60 degree. Cos 60 degree. That is the one by two. So reciprocal of that. That is the two. So value of cosec minus 1410 degree. That is equal to two. Okay. First check that. This angle where it lies, okay? So it lies in fourth quadrant. So in fourth quadrant, cosec is negative, okay? So we have to find value of cosec. So this is already minus sign is there, and this is negative, so minus of cosec. Then I am writing this angle. Multiple is in multiple of 90, 90 into 15 plus 60. Now this is odd. So cosec becomes sec, and write this angle. That is a 60 degree. So sec 60 degree is a two. So value of cosec minus 1410 degree is two. Okay. Now we will take some more examples. Next value is tan of 19 pi upon 3. Okay. Now here angle is given in radian. So if we have to convert in degree, you can convert it. Convert it. Otherwise, directly first check it where it lies. Okay, in which quadrant this angle will lie? So 19 pi upon 3. If I am dividing this, then we'll get 3 six are 18. That is a 6 pi. So one remainder is one. So 6 pi plus pi by 3. Okay. So we you will get three six are eighteen eighteen pi plus pi nineteen pi upon three. Okay. Now six pi means we can write three into two pi plus pi by three. 
ओके एंड टू पाई दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री पाई इज वन एटी डिग्री सो टू पाई दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री मीन्स थ्री रोटेशन आर द ओके फर्स्ट कंप्लीट रोटेशन और कंप्लीट रिवॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट रिवॉल्यूशन दैट इज थ्री सिक्सटी देन अगेन वन एंड अगेन वन मोर ओके सो थ्री कंप्लीट रिवॉल्यूशन थ्री इंटू टू पाई मीन्स थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री थ्री टाइम्स ओके एंड देन प्लस पाई बाय थ्री सो पाई बाय थ्री मीन्स सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके सो हियर वी विल गेट दैट एंगल लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वार्टर एंड इन फर्स्ट क्वार्टर ऑल ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज आर पॉजिटिव ओके नाउ वी हैव टू चेक दैट राइट दिस एंगल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइंटी नाउ नाइंटी मीन्स इन रेडियन दैट इज अ पाई बाय टू ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट सो थ्री टू जर सिक्स पाई प्लस पाई बाय थ्री सो सिक्स पाई प्लस पाई बाय थ्री इफ आई एम राइटिंग पाई बाय टू सो मल्टीप्लाइन डिवाइडेड बाय पाई दैट इज अ ट्वेल्व पाई बाय टू प्लस पाई बाय थ्री ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ सिक्स पाई आई एम राइटिंग इन मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइंटी दैट इज अ पाई बाय टू so instead of 6 pi i can write 12 into pi by 2 okay now this is a even number so we can write like this way 12 pi by 2 plus pi by 3 okay so 12 into 90 degree in degree that is a 90 degree so 12 into 90 plus 60 pi by 3 is a 60 okay so tan 12 into pi by 2. Now this is an even number, so tan becomes tan. So tan and angle is pi by 3. So tan pi by 3. Now tan 60. That is a root 3. So value of tan 19 pi upon 3 is equal to root 3. Okay. Understand if angle is in radian, first find the Angle lies in which quadrant? Okay, how you can find this? Write in multiple of 360 degree. Okay, so here I am writing it is 3 into 2 pi plus pi by 3. Okay, so 6 pi plus pi by 3. Okay, 6 pi plus pi by 3. You can write 3 into 2 pi plus pi by 3. Okay, so 2 pi means 360 degree. So there are three complete rotations or complete revolutions plus pi by 3. So pi by three means 60 degree. So it lies in first quadrant. In first quadrant, all trigonometric ratios are positive. So I am taking here plus tan. Then write or then convert angle in multiples of 90. So 12 into pi by two plus pi by three. Okay. So 12 into pi by two plus pi by three. So here it is even number. So if it is even. Then we can write tan as it is. If here it is odd number, then tan becomes a cot. Okay, so tan and here pi by. Okay, understand this one. So I will give worksheet for this to find the values of some trigonometric functions. Okay, for different angles.